Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we celebrated Taj's birthday, Lee gets our starter motor going again, Taj builds something, and we see some more pretty places, while I, I get a makeover. Yes, so we are still here in Ambon, Indonesia, waiting on a very special parcel. So while we waited, we saw some more things. Here is us wandering the city. So this is a world peace gong, which means it is safe for visitors to come to Ambon. In 2009, the world peace gong was erected in Ambon city to remind the people of Maluku and the visitors of a fundamental need for peace and security. On the surface of the gong, national flags of all countries around the world and the symbols pertaining to religions including Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, and others. It says, in the name of humanity and in order to create peace, harmony, and love all over the world, we hereby declare... Uh, that's all I say. Call all elimination to all types of discrimination. Welded? Oh, I can't read it. It's a bit worn. Says all nice things. It's the peace gong. Let that be peace. Hi guys, we're at the Maluku Resort and we just had the best milkshake. We get a swim in their pool and yeah. We came to the Maluka Resort to inquire about diving and to see if they were selling any diving equipment. They weren't, but we got to have a swim in their pool instead. Back to our favourite Nasi Padang place with our favourite Ambon family. For those of you who have been following us for a while now, you can understand the happiness that is beaming on Lee's face. What an awesome day here in Ambon. We just got back to the boat. What do you got there, Captain? Well, thanks to James and Michelle. Thank you uh, so much. The absolute biggest thank you. The biggest parcel. thank you. Parcel. It arrived, so we've been in Ambon waiting for this parcel. Um, some of our kindest viewers ever sent us a starter motor. Um, and we've been waiting for it here for, I think it took about two weeks or longer. It took about two weeks. We didn't plan on this, but we actually anchored up here and um, I think it was the first week in. I like to run the engine every week and went to start it and boom, boom. So Luckily we're somewhere safe and secure and we've been able to sit here and get yep. boat jobs done and, and get things done. But we've been busy. This is very exciting. Oh my god, look at that thing. It looks a little bit better than our one. Oh! Would you have a look at that? So we are super stoked because this has been a big problem for us yep. for a while. So, James, Michelle, thank you again. Thank you very much. Yeah, we just are so appreciative of your kindness. Like, thank you heaps. And the kids, the whole family, we love you all. Thank you. So prior to the installation of this, I can tell you before I even lift up the cover to the engine bay down there, I've rewired our bilge. So our bilge can no longer be turned off. So there is either a manual, which it remains on 24 seven, or you can actually manually turn it on. So we have eliminated the off section of the switch. So this little baby here stays nice and dry. That's the plan anyway. He's so happy right now. Look at his little face. 
His grin hasn't been so big for a while. Never been so excited to start the motor. Look at it, it hasn't even gone inside the boat. I didn't realise I could get so happy from a starter motor. <laughs> uh, made your day. Uh, Lee's just about to put it in. So let's go check it out. Out with the old. In with the new. Woohoo! They are. Before and after. All a little bit excited on Catelpa because Dad's about to put the starter motor in. <clears throat> Here it goes. Dilemma. Just one dilemma, which we had a dilemma with our old starter motor. It's in a shitty spot and there's one bolt that's really hard. So what Lee did, because he knew he had to take the other one in and out a fair few times, he didn't put the third bolt on. So he's probably going to put two bolts on again. If that is a problem for those people out there that know what they're talking about. But if you really know what you're talking about, if it's going to affect anything can you please let us know in the comments below we would be really appreciative of that so it's on or it's in and Lee's about to start it up here we go. That's um, a relief. That's, That's a uh, sucky happy dance. Oh, a little bit stiff from being down there for the last oh, hour. Oh, it's so the old man happy dance. Let's <laughs> roll on the shoulders. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you happy? Well, that's good. It's peace of mind. Uh, we seem to put ourselves in a few situations with weather in these isolated locations, and it's just nice to be able to turn that key and know that the motor's going to start. So, no, I'm happy with that. Remember Lee extended our bed? Well, we also needed a new mattress. So after a very interesting BMO ride, we got it back to Catelpa. Well, that was hard work. Time for a nap. How are we going to get this inside? Oh yeah, just lift the roof. How's that, Captain? Now we all fit. So the kids happen to find this place, of all places in Indonesia. It's been across the road the whole time. <laughs> this was a belated birthday day for Taj. He'd been asking to come to the water park for a while, and today was his lucky day.
was the moment when Dad realised he was getting a little too old for these sort of things. Ooh, Dad! You right, old man? Foam was to stop you losing your teeth or to stop the tube from popping. We weren't sure. Mum and Dad relaxing. Mum was a little bit thirsty. Jeez, can't take her anywhere. And I think Mum had a crush on this guy. Okay, that's enough fun. Back to work for you two. So we're getting ready to leave Ambon. Yesterday we had a pretty fun day. We went to um, a water park that's not very uh, far away from here and the kids had a ball. We all had a ball go down the slide but I hurt my tailbone. Holy crap mama, <laughs> you jumped into that. <laughs> you went real quick. <laughs> Took off some skin. Oh no! And uh, we're doing some washing this morning. Hence why the generator's going and washing machine's going so um, yeah. Final few days here in Ambon. Hey sweetie, you look hot and dirty. What, what's been going on in here today? <sighs> Caught in Mondays again. <laughs> Have a really poorly designed um, stuffing box. I have to remove uh, my exhaust, uh, whatever you call that thing, An exhaust lock or whatever, water lock. It sits over the top of the stuffing box. Here they have these PPS or PSS uh, dripless seals. They're amazing. <laughs> so people so, ask us all the time, why is there water in our bilge? So do you want to answer that now? Oh, it's just really hard to get to to adjust our stuffing box. So instead of having like one to two drips a minute, we have drip, 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 drip. So whatever that equates to. It equates to the bilge going on. <laughs> One day you'll have a dry bilge boat, sweetheart. Yeah, I went into town today. Nowhere could help me fill our gas tank, so I come across this, which is the Indonesian connection. So what I'm going to do, hopefully is not blow myself up, but the gas flow that comes through here and out here is regulated. They only have hose clamps under there, so no good for me. So I'm going to cut this end off and I'm going to unscrew this gauge that it come with. But obviously the gauge isn't regulated, the gas flow goes in and straight out. So I intend to put a barb tail on here um, which doesn't fit, which I was told would fit, so I'm probably going to have to tap that out now. That's my first little problem. Didn't check. I didn't check, but I was told it would work. Anyway, got one problem. But I'm then going to come through. I did have this in our kit. That's the Australian connection that goes onto our bottle. So, I got this today, which will go on there. Um, actually, maybe that's the other one. Sorry. Got this here. Goes into here. And that will go into there, that will go into our bottle here, back around to an unregulated bit here, and I'll show you the rest when we're filling. Hopefully I don't blow myself up. Hey guys, so what we've done is 
We're actually decanting some gas. So I didn't intend on doing this. I actually purchased a Indonesian tank, and it come with a a little cap, a, like a QA, like a, a safety seal on it, which I peeled off. And before I started anything, the actual cylinder itself is leaking. Uh, the valve so I'm not too keen on using the Indonesian setup I was just going to run with their regulator and tap it onto our gas and use their bottle whilst we're in Indonesia but um, I've read a few little things on decanting and I wasn't able to purchase the right um, connection for the tank here so I purchased a regulator which had a uh, like a pressure gauge so I remove that so it's unregulated which will allow me with a pigtail hose and the Australian connection to fill our tank so in a nutshell our tank is 8.44 kilos tear weight um, gross total is going to be about 17 kilos but it's Indonesia and I just want to keep it safe so I'll probably only do it to about 16 kilos which is probably going to be about 70% full or something which is the recommended for any LP anyway, regardless is to be about 80%. But we are in the tropics and these bottles are exposed to the sun, so I'm only gonna fill them um, to about 70%. I've got my trusty fishing gauge here, which I never really catch any fish that big to measure, but I'm just gonna stop it at um, 16 kilos. I can hear something going on. Am I safe sitting here? Please don't blow us up. Boom! I'm tired. <laughs> I'm actually getting sweaty palms and a little bit of a shake going. I've never done this before, but I just really do feel a lot safer with our bottles underfilled than the Indonesian bottles with dodgy fittings. And, and all their gas fittings over here aren't... Um, they're just like pipe clipped everything so it just doesn't sit well with me with gas just like you've got no glasses on either what is going to happen what's oh, going to go worst case was that that hose would blow off oh my god okay i'll move back i just haven't got the correct piggy tail hose but i'm going to get one ordered so yeah okay so how long is this going to take you um they say about half an hour with the first fill because there's going to be more pressure in there. I started on 9 kilos and you can see I'm already at about 11 kilos now. Pretty stoked with that to be honest. Yeah, Lee was worried about the whole thing. Even though someone's already, people are worried us just using gas in general. Well I can see why their fittings, like their regulator alone, you only need to move it and you can hear gas hissing. Um, I go around everything with a bottle of soapy water and spray every fitting and the fittings just aren't up to um, scratch like I, I the removed test. the safety seal and literally the gas was bubbling so it's just yeah I'll keep their tank which I've purchased which I will use to switch at markets or wherever we can get gas and I'll just underfill all of our tanks to be on the safe side but Hopefully try and get someone from Australia to get some um, pigtail hoses and a couple extra fittings sent so I don't have to use a modified regulator which I tapped the thread into here so I could put a barbed tail on to take the hose and it's got a pipe clamp. I just, I'm just not sure about that. That's what worries me. I sort of like a nice fitting on either one. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Alright, so I keep filming as it blows up. It was a success. No one blew up and we got it done. So we've got gas again for cooking. But we don't recommend you try this at home, kids. Alright guys, so we had a little bit of an accident. Taj got in the road of the drone. Um, made me get the Father of the Year award at the, uh, the little, what would you call it? Like a little miniature theme park at um, Ambon. So as a result, we broke our gimbal mount. I won't take, oh, I'll take it off, I'll show you. But this here, if I take the support off here, the camera just dangles. So we've snapped a little piece up inside there, um, which I'm gonna attempt to replace. So here it is here. It's the anti-vibrational gimbal support for the camera. 
so we'll get to that in a minute but I've just taken the blades off and I'm about to start pulling it apart. Never pulled one of these apart before. Hopefully all goes well. Okay, so drones in pieces at the moment. This was the problem here. So this is the plate I ordered. I, th I think we paid $40 to get it all up shipped here, but um, I think they're about $10 on Amazon. And the bit that broke was actually this little bit here. So um, I'm just about there. I've just got to transfer our camera onto our anti-vibrational gimbal plate, which has little springs there or little elastic bands. Obviously that was a bit that was broken and it's got our elastic bands, it's our anti-vibrational gimbal plate for our camera which is here which I'm going to transfer onto and hopefully put it all back together. Hopefully it works. Definitely not a drone technician but first one that popped up on Google was uh, fix a crash. So she's been real quick and helpful I think as long as it goes back together. Good luck. So there was our old gimbal mount. Um, this is the little piece here. which actually just broke off there and that's the piece that holds the camera on. That's the piece there. So I could have super glued that back on, I just didn't want to. But anyway, um, I don't know, it's probably half an hour or so to pull it apart, put it back together. You can see here, there's the camera now. I can adjust it up. You can see it's moving. So, it's back in action. Up, down. Woo-hoo-hoo! Good job, baby. Whew. Now let's All go right. somewhere pretty so we can fly it. Yeah. So that's how you do it. So up next on Sailing Catalpa, we have our last days in Ambon, say goodbye to our friends and head off for a new adventure. Oh, and we celebrate the old guy and his day of birth. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we hope you all have a most beautiful day. We love you heaps. Bye for now and see you next time. Oh. It all comes all thanks to you all All thanks to y'all